You know what I like to make? Dumb things. <laughs> yeah, that's why you subscribe to this channel, to watch me make dumb things. <laughs> but I especially like dumb things that are kind of cool. This isn't one of those. No, it is dumb, and it is kind of cool. And I promise it has nothing to do with cats. All you're gonna need is just a little bit of a scrap board. You need like, like this much of it, about that much. The width of my hand, not your hand, my hand. Exactly, that amount of a board. And it should be like almost square. Well, it should be square. Make it square. Okay, I made two, because I'm not exactly sure what length I want on these things, so I've got a spare. Neither one of them is the length of my hand. It's not even close. Now I wanna cut off maybe a quarter or a third of each of these. I'm gonna take one of those longer pieces and I'm gonna drill a hole down basically as deep as I can go. I don't want it to go all the way through. So I've got that set up in my drill press. I guess you could do this with a handheld drill, but I think that would be really challenging to get that to go straight all the way through there. But hey, maybe you're, maybe you're good at doing that. I don't think, my hand is just too shaky. I get nervous in front of the camera. So I'm gonna use my drill press. I'm gonna have a dowel in this, this diameter of dowel. I don't know what it is. But I want the drill bit to be a little bit bigger than that so that this dowel will slide in and out of there easily. All right, so your dowel should slide in pretty easily like that. And while you weren't looking, I made a couple more of these. So I've got four total. Why? I have no idea. I need to drill holes in these short pieces now. If I had been thinking this through, I would have just left my stop block set up, but I didn't think it through. I guess I'd probably still have to adjust it since I raised the table back up. I'm installing a little bit smaller drill bit so that this time I want the dowel to fit tight, not loose. On these short pieces, I just am gonna stop the bit right about at that point. I've got it locked so it'll stop there. I cut that dowel into short pieces and I'm just gluing them into the short ends. Back on these longer pieces, I just took a dowel and marked how far, how deep that hole is. I just kind of pulled it out and then made a mark on each of these. And so that's where I'm going to drill a hole all the way through. I need to make a point on each of these short pieces. You can cut these with a saw, but I'm just gonna use my disc sander to kind of freehand them. I'm gonna use a chisel to make kind of a hook on the tip of each of these. I'm running a rubber band through this hole on each of these. I'm just tying a knot on the each end of it. Okay, something like that just so it won't come out. Now you can drive your friends and family crazy with this little trick. Wait a second, you're a woodworker. You probably already drive them crazy.
All you gotta do is show them the little hook there on the dowel and the rubber band and explain to them that all you gotta do is slide this in just like that, work with it until you grab the rubber band and then it'll just pull out like that. You show it to them again, that little hook there. You put it in there, twist it. I usually like to do a quarter twist. That seems to be about right. And then you can pull, pull it out just like that. Okay, did you see what I was doing there? Okay, it's, it's not that much of a trick. So clearly the, it, the dowel isn't even long enough to grab that rubber band if you wanted to. All I'm doing here is just, just pinching this beveled area here like that. And it just springs back in there. Now when I first made this, maybe 10 years ago or so, I didn't think anybody was gonna fall for this. I thought, well this is the dumbest thing ever. I told you this was gonna be a dumb project. But believe it or not, almost everybody falls for this thing. They will always try to grab that rubber band. There, now you got something to do. You were just gonna sit around the house watching YouTube videos probably, weren't you? Do you even make real woodworking projects anymore? I miss the old Steve. Hey, if, you, if you're interested in learning woodworking a little bit more than this, Check out my courses over at theweekendwoodworker.com. I've got three courses, just to, a course that will suit everybody's need, especially if you've never done any woodworking before. Theweekendwoodworker.com, check it out. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.